Welcome to my haunted house. I'm so pleased to meet your acquaintance. How's it going guys? It's the Pixelite Pumpkin and in today's video I'll be unboxing, setting up, and reviewing the Sharp Dressed Skeleton from HalloweenCostumes.com and sold exclusively on HalloweenCostumes.com. So at any point throughout this video, if you want to pick this guy up or anything else on their website, be sure to use my special link in the description that's going to give you 15% off and help out the channel. Now I'm really excited to unbox this guy because I think he's going to be a really, really unique addition to my collection. Because you guys know me, I typically like the scary or more creepy Halloween items better. But this guy is of course made for like, you know, a more general audience, more kid friendly audience. Definitely not a scary prop at all, but I'm okay with that because it achieves what it's trying to do with flying colors. It ends up just being a really, really cool skeleton prop and a really unique one at that too. So I'm really excited to get this guy open. So without any more hesitation, let's open him. All right, so here's what you see when you first pop over the box. As you can see, we got all the parts here. Underneath the clothing is indeed the head. I'll try to get you a good view. Yeah, there you go. There's the head down there, the hands everything so without further ado let's start unboxing it first thing out of the box is of course the base now this is a pretty big base i would say basically the box is super compact here i'm like honestly was really surprised when i got this guy in the mail it's like really tiny the box but he's going to be a normal six foot standing prop so here you have the base here basically covers up the entire box so put this off to the side next thing out we have the arms it looks like maybe yeah these are the arm holes here uh, this is a really long, oh uh, wait, well, just poles wrapped in uh, some protective foam, I guess. I don't think these are, yeah, this is just casing, it looks like. I really thought this was a part of it since, you know, sometimes they do put styrofoam around the poles. But uh, we just got some poles here. Here we have possibly an arm pole. It's really tiny, as you can see, but... uh. We'll see what this is for when we start putting it together. Next thing out of the box, we have the cane it looks like he holds. There you go, there. This thing is pretty cool. You got this big metallic ball on the end and uh, it's pretty nicely detailed. <sighs> pretty cool. Next up we got his clothes, his fancy suit, if you will. We'll take this out when the time comes. Now here we have his hand with the top hat. I'll bring this up so you can get a better look at the detail, but. He will be basically be doing this. That's his animation here, which I think is super unique and super cool. Here's the hand and the top hat up close. You got a pretty standard looking skeletal hand there. I mean, that is about run of the mill as you get. It's nicely detailed for sure though. You have his top hat here, which, you know, pretty basic, just, you know, simple materials, just literally a top hat. I have not much to say about this one, but I do like how he has the blue band around it. Fits in with the rest of his color scheme. Pretty cool. Next up, we got his other hand here, basically the same as the one on the hat. Here we have his shoes now. You got both of them, and uh, hey, these are some pretty snazzy looking shoes for sure. I'll bring it up to the camera so you can get a better look. All right, here's his shoe, and I have to say, this is actually surprisingly really detailed. I mean, you know, there's all these little stitching details that nobody's really going to notice when you have them all set up. But uh, props to SVI on this one because, damn, they did a really nice job here. Look, you got a little pattern on the front of the boot there. You know, you got these stitching patterns here. Really, really nicely detailed. And you've got the different colors, too. They almost look like bowling shoes, I want to say. Really cool. Here's his uh, hip bracket here. This is going to be important, of course. And then here's, of course, the mechanism slash module. There you can see you're going to have the, me the part that's going to make him, obviously, take on and off his top hat there, which is, again, such a cool animation. And this is just a pretty small, very small mechanism overall, uh, but it's good. Nice and compact, and uh, this is sure to be a cool prop once it's all set up. And now, the last thing out of the box we have, the head. Get a look at this. This is so cool. I'll bring it up to the camera so you can get a better look. Now here we have the skeleton head, and I have to say that is such a cool looking skeleton. It's pretty run of the mill as skeletons get, but of course you do have those digital eyes, which is something I forgot to mention, but that is such a cool and unique feature about this guy, of course. They look really good, and I really do like the props with the digital eyes. They're always pretty nice. Of course you have the jaw here. He'll be talking like that. Give you a quick spin around. You know, again, very standard for skeletons, but what else would you need on this guy? He's gonna be all dressed up, which is gonna make him super unique, but a really cool and 
high quality mold all around here. All right, everybody, now that we got everything all out of the box, let's begin the setup. All right, everybody, so this guy's setup is super straightforward. Obviously, you're gonna wanna start off with the base and attach the leg poles. Then after that, you're gonna wanna put the shoes on and then, of course, the pants before you put on that little hip bracket there. So after you get the pants on, you're gonna wanna put on the hip bracket, like I said. And then right after that, you're gonna put on the mechanism, which is easier said than done. Then you're gonna wanna put on his overcoat, which is really nice and simple. Then you're gonna wanna feed the arms through. I was struggling a little bit with this one here, the super small arm, which is where he takes off his hat from. Then I'm gonna put the hands on next. You know, there's a little bit of Velcro to attach at the wrist there. Then I put on his other hand with the top hat. Then I'm gonna go ahead and stick his cane in, which, you know, and adjust his pants. Well, he's pretty much all set up now. The only thing we're missing is, of course, the head. So let's put this bad boy on. And just as I said, you're going to attach the head and attach a few wires and then you're all set up. Well, he's all set up now and I have to say he's looking pretty snazzy. Honestly, they should have just called this guy the snazzy skeleton. Anyways, he looks really awesome just like this. Certainly a very, very sharply dressed skeleton for sure. I love the detail on this here, but I'm sure he's going to look even better when he's animated. So let's plug him in. Welcome to my haunted house. I'm so pleased to meet your acquaintance. I may not look like a Halloween fan, but I dress special for the occasion. How about you? Pardon me. I am wondering if this party is casual dress or a formal affair. It is a must to be appropriately attired. Well, at least I am better dressed than the wolf man. Okay. Your witch hat, goblins and ghouls. This Halloween is shaping up to be a stormy one. I say, do I smell a wonderful assortment of candy you are smuggling past me? All right, everybody, now that you got to see the dressed up skeleton all in action and animated, it is time for me to review him. And to keep this review straightforward and streamlined, I'll be breaking his review down into three parts. I'll start off with the animation, then I'll talk about his overall look, and finally, I'll talk about his audio and phrases. So let's get started talking about his animation. And for his animation, I think it is actually pretty decent. He only has two movements, of course, one of them being mouth animation, but the other one is super, super unique and honestly really, really realistic looking. I think it's due in part to gravity, the way it works with the hat there, just making it look extra fluent and real, and it kind of cheats this effect that makes it look very, very realistic, even though he's literally just pulling it off his head, you know, robotically. I think it is a super awesome animation though, however, and definitely makes this whole prop come together really well in tandem with his phrases. I really do like that animation and it fits the character so well again. Just him pulling off his hat like that looks fantastic and it just ends up being a really, really cool and unique animation. Definitely unique to this prop for sure. And again, such a cool animation. So overall, I think his animation is simple, but it works super, super well, and I have really no complaints about it here. It's doing what it tries to do perfectly, and it ends up turning out really, really cool looking. Now for his overall look, and I have to say they did a great job here designing this guy, because there's so much detail and effort put into its costume design, and really everything else about it that just makes it stick out among a lot of other props that are similar to this. For one, you got his little handkerchief in his coat pocket there, that is so cool and such a nice little detail, and then the design of his suit as well is really nice with the black and blue stripes. I think it's a really nice color scheme to have going on. And then just the design of the suit in general is super detailed. You obviously have his bow tie and stuff like that. And even his shoes are super detailed with multiple colors and a whole bunch of little stitching details, which I really, really like. And then of course you have his cane, which is nice as well. And the main thing, the digital eyes, which maybe should have been counted in animation, but I do feel like it's more of part of its look than it is its animation. Of course the eyes are animated, but that's besides the point. Anyways, those eyes are super cool and work great on a prop like this. They don't feel unnecessary. In fact, they definitely add more to this prop than if it were without them. So I really, really like that. Overall, I think he has a really good design for just being a skeleton in a suit, and I think it works really, really well. Now, finally, his phrases, and he has so many of them that I actually couldn't fit all of them into the demo portion of this video, so sorry about that. 
Anyways, I think his phrases are really, really good, actually. They might be more on the kid-friendly side, but they're not corny or stupid or anything like that, like much of the clown phrases are. They're actually done really nicely and have lots of nice Halloween references to different Halloween characters and stuff like that. And just, you know, like, the party he's attending, and it fits perfectly with his character. These phrases were exclusively made for him, which I really like, and, you know, there's definitely a lot of care and attention put into them here, which I have to commend for sure. Overall, he has around like six or seven phrases i want to say he's definitely a much more fleshed out character than a lot of other animatronic props are so that i do really appreciate overall they're super fitting and they work really well with the prop and overall i just have to say the phrases are fantastic here well everybody now that you got to hear all my thoughts on this guy it is time for me to give him my final rating the dressed up skeleton will be getting a 9.5 out of 10. I think this guy is a super spectacular prop that ends up coming together really well in the end. In terms of ever in terms of all of his different elements, everything just works so well in tandem with each other to create a very fletched to create a very fleshed out Halloween animatronic character, in my opinion, which is something you really don't see too often. Overall, I really like him, and he is definitely one I can recommend to all of you guys. So if you want to pick him up, please go to HalloweenCostumes.com using my link in the description below, of course, to get yourself a 15% off discount. As well, you'll be helping out the channel at the same time if you do end up deciding to purchase anything. So overall, guys, I'm super happy with this guy, and I'm very happy he's in my collection now. He's going to go great in my display this year. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Again, check out that link if you want anything on HalloweenCostumes.com and get yourself a bit of a discount. And with that, everybody, remember, nobody outpixelates the pumpkin.